Boom! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. We are at Sunshine State RVs, because you can tell from all the different RVs that are here, including mine is right back there. That's mine. That's Lola, and that's Nick. And this is the 2022 Coachman Beyond. This one is a 22D, and uh, you should be able to tell from this new uh, grill look here that this is the new, this is the 2021 Ford Transit that this is built on. So we're gonna get a look at this. I think, I believe this is one of the, the vans that we saw when we did the factory tour at Coachman. So we're gonna take a look at this right now. Stay right there, it's gonna be fun. Let's get into it. There he goes, Nick Schmidt. What's up? Trying to stay at RV. Yes. What's up, man? I haven't. I feel like I haven't seen it? you in a minute. Yes. Although I was here yesterday eating I, your, your. I said we had fish yesterday yeah, together. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We left Lola out of it because. Totally left me out of it. Yeah. I heard it was awesome. So you know what happened is after work I grabbed dinner. I totally forgot he mentioned he had fish with you. <laughs> so I grabbed fish from a local fish place, mm. and I go home. He goes, number one, I've already had fish. Number two. This can't compare. Yeah. <laughs> no, we no. sent all of our employees on their annual fishing trip last weekend and they yeah. caught amberjack and snapper oh and gosh. all kinds of yeah. crazy stuff. And, uh, and just like, shout out to everyone but Corey. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Corey was great. Yeah, Corey, uh, I would get more fat than I am right now. <laughs> if, if, he you know, good. yeah. He was good. Absolutely. Okay, so listen, so this is a 2022, right? Yes, this is the first 2022 that we've gotten in. They officially start coming out after July 4th. So the way Coachman kind of does their year change is they close your two weeks July 4th and then they start releasing the 2022s after that. And so we got this one in yesterday, a little early, but you can. we're gonna go over a couple minor differences today yeah. on this 2022 all-wheel drive, Coachman Beyond, uh, LI3, LI3, all right. the kit and caboodle, everything. Yeah. So let's start with the differences. I did do the factory tour and I probably saw this van Pretty out sweet, there. isn't it? Yeah, it looks, I think it looks so much better. Like, yeah, I like, I like how this is matching everything. Yeah, it's a factory. The matching one. I also think this is pretty neat. It kind of gives it that Audi look that you like. You I know? like this too because it's not. I don't like the chrome in there. I would still. I would still. I, you know. I would still put something over this to black it out. But this looks. The whole look. Of it's this sharp, looks so isn't much it? Better. Yeah. yeah. That's really good looking. More yeah. European. When we were talking about the different chassis. Yep. This now looks so much closer to like the Sprinter. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Pro Master Sprinter does have that nice look. You know something else I really like that they started doing last year. They're doing again are the fog lights in here. Yeah. The previous models don't have the fog lights, yeah. so I really like that. Um, and these, I have to see, are these are these LED lights? I am not, not sure, right? okay. I am not sure. All right, yeah, I'm just curious about that. Okay. Uh, they do have the parking sensors as well. Yeah. That the other new ones. Mine oh, has. Okay. Oh, hey. Yeah. Let's so say start doing that, but I just think it's a, it's a really neat overall look. Yeah. I really like it. So this is the brand new 2022. And then they, they uh, I'll keep coming. They upgraded their Ford wheels. So these are Ford factory alloy wheels. These are the same ones you have. Previously, like on this one right here, Hank, yeah. they would buy aftermarket wheels. Yes. And, and I've heard people have complained to me that we've have. got the, like we've got the nice wheels. These are Ford factory wheels. People, yeah. people really like having these the Ford factory wheels. These are the sought after ones. Yeah. Yeah. I know, like I'm gonna change out my wheels at some point yeah. and people already claim dibs. <laughs> there you go, that's good, that's yeah. good. <laughs> Um, All right. So this is the Li3 model, yep. lithium. Yes. 600 amp nice. hours of lithium batteries, okay. 3,000 watt inverter, solar panels, underhood generator, the whole big lithium yeah. package. It's it's pretty stinking awesome. In our experience, you've been able to run your air conditioner six eight hours mm -hmm. with. I mean, is that your? I mean, you you've been hearing that as well. Six or eight heard, hours. I've heard that from the guys that have lithium. I've got the AGM battery. Yes. Yep. But as you know, I'm, I'm I need to do an upgrade. <laughs> Hank is here today to get a lithium upgrade. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Well, that's in another video. Another video. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. but 
So this can run the AC six or eight hours. This has the 12 volt air conditioner, mm -hmm. the, the the new oh. premier air conditioner. Did you bring your tester? Because someone requested that we test that. I will, I will grab it, yes, it's yes. on my desk. Continuing on the outside. Yeah, keep coming off so you got a nice big power awning, right. just like on all the other Beyonds. You have a nice plug right here, so this gives you a place to plug in some kind of grill. Whenever I camp with my kids, I always do like a little griddle. I can fry some eggs, yeah. put some you know hamburgers on. So I plug it in right here, put a little table here, and I cook everything, you know, right here by the plug yeah. under the awning with the nice LED lights. It kind of gives you that that uh, National Lampoon's Christmas yeah. kind of feel Except, to it. Yeah, a little, you know, a little bit more luxury. A little, a lot, a lot more luxury. <laughs> Cousin yeah. Harry was his name. Yeah, uh, I Uncle, think it was. Yeah, Cousin I something. Think it was okay. Um, Uncle Eddie, Uncle Freddie. Yeah. So we'll have to look that up. We so. will. Towing package. And that's on all of these. So they are only doing the EcoBoost. So this year, that's something new that they changed. They're only offering EcoBoost. They're not offering the non EcoBoost engine. So what EcoBoost does is that gives you 20% better fuel mileage. That that gives you a 3.5. Is that correct? 3.4 liter V6. The, the V6. I'm the, not 100% sure on the liters, it is. but it's twin turbo. Twin turbo. It's like 310 horsepower. Yeah, it is. It is a torque. great. The ones that we've had without the EcoBoost, you can mm -hmm. definitely tell the difference. Tell so, okay. so I talked to Nick Recchio about that, and he said, Nick, what do you think we should do? I said, dude, I said, everybody wants EcoBoost. It, it is worth the extra, I don't know, thousand bucks, whatever it was. It is worth the difference. And everybody's agreed with us, every single person. So, yes, I great would, I would add to Ford that. Transit, EcoBoost, all wheel drive. You know, this is pretty neat, Hank. I don't know if we've covered this. You know, this little thing right here, People come, they try to press the button and try and figure out what it is. Yes. Check this out. You want to see what it is? Yes. I know. Well, I know. Hey, you're not supposed to give it away. Yes. <laughs> so what this is, is you unlock it right here. Uh-huh. Right? There it is. Yes. And then you swing it all the way around. Boom. There you go. And it's a magnet. Yes. How cool is that? So it keeps this from blowing in the wind, smacking you. So, or hitting, like, or someone driving into it. So, if you want, this is the D model, by the way. I don't know if we've even covered a D model before, Hank. I don't know. Have we? I don't think so. I don't think so. But no. having this wide open, yeah. nice screen here. This, this screen is better than my screen, Nick. I, I have to tell, say that. This tell is, Nick Recchio that. Look at this. This is a real, this is a manly screen. So, I love that. Yeah. So, very nice. You want to leave these doors open? Well, this is kind of in the way here. Yeah, you can push that in. There's a little yeah. storage on there. Okay, cool. So there we go. Yeah. So now you have both of these unlock and magnetize. Yeah. Now you are wide open. So that's something I did notice on this. There's not a, a bicycle carrier on this. Which not on this one. Th yeah, that I is haven't a, even used mine yet. That's so. an option that, right. that, that you can get. We don't order it with the bike rack because okay. It's something we can install after the fact. Oh, okay. So we just get them all without it. If someone wants it, we install it for them. Okay, all right. Yeah, we always have them here. So if anybody ever wants a bike ride, come on through. It takes us a half a day and we can install yeah. the, the Coachman factory bike rack. Yes. But something pretty cool they're doing now since we're on these real doors, they're putting insulation in here. That's so, what I was going to ask you. So one of, doesn't have that. One of the yeah. uh, issues with their, their full insulation packages, the rear door did not have insulation. Yeah. But now it's thicker. Yeah. So this is full. So this is a new panel for these doors. This is. They they yeah. created this this panel brand new. They just started doing okay. this in the last couple months. Yeah, I think I saw this also in the factory. That's great. That's a yeah. that's a cool it is. you'll see because all of these these are places where you'll get the van either heating up yep. or getting cold. Yep. So yep. Sure. that's good to know. Yeah, so pretty yeah. neat. I really like yeah. how all this does. You know, yeah. something else pretty cool, you know, I like how they do stickers. I think they do these stickers to remind me to bring things up. <laughs> right. Sumo springs on the entire coast. Coach, front and rear. Coachman is one of the Class B manufacturers that uses sumo swings. More of them are getting to it. Road Trek does it now. American Coach does it. Winnebago does it. But Coachman, ever since they've been making these, has been putting sumo springs to factors. So what that does is that absorbs that bounce, mm -hmm. and it really makes it where you're not just bouncing up and down the road. Yeah. It really makes it where you're going off road a little bit. You can handle it. You don't yeah, or even your if coffee. you're turning, you don't have that swinging right. happening in the van. As Funny much. story. I, I held a full cup of water as my 15 year old son has his learner's permit, mm -hmm. and um, he's driving my car around. I said, "This cup is full. Do not spill a drip of it." And he, <laughs> went, he went about a mile or two without spilling a drip of it. So yeah. I was, I was pretty proud of him. Don't spill a drip, not Daniel son. <laughs> a drip, not a drip. 
Yeah. But in the CrossFit, or in CrossFit, in the Beyond, uh -huh. uh, you will not smell a drip. Yeah. There's some storage up there since we're here in the back. We'll 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 go through the whole vent. Well, this and there isn't is, a bad time to do it. Well, yeah. While we're back here, we can show there is some storage under here, which is a good place to put all your. You can put some hoses and see some tables. So these tables here, they connect just like this. So this is the actual table, but they connect in here to oh, make your look bed. Look at that. See, how come I can't get a system like that in my thing so that, like, I'm not Ricky and Lucy, but, you know, I feel lonely. Like, Lola's on one side, I'm on one side, you know? I like this. Uh, this is a cool way to do it. It's cool. Yes. And all of this is a little strip. I mean, I'm sure you yeah. can retrofit it, a little strip. Yeah. Tables there, like yeah. and then uh, you probably put a cushion or these two side. Yep. Cushions. So these two side cushions, they got some some wood on the back, quarter inch plywood. Mm -hmm. You should lay it down right here, and it's one big bed. This is a brand new Q phone that they just started using about three months ago, okay. and it is really really comfortable. Really? Yeah. You know, Nick Recchio told this. me. Yeah. Nick Recchio told me one of the biggest things when he would talk to his customers, they would say, you know, why did you choose the Beyond over this and that, and what's something you wish the Beyond had. And everybody would say the Pleasure Way has the most comfortable cushions. Okay. They still would buy the Beyond because of the cabinetry and the insulation and all the other stuff. But they love the Pleasure Way. So Nick went on like a, like a quest to right. find how do I beat their cushions. Yeah, Nick takes that and personally. He definitely takes it personal. <laughs> so, and that is one thing that we love about Nick Recchio and Coachman is that they listen. They listen to me. They listen to Hank. And they'll listen to you. Yeah. And so Nick went on a quest. He found cushions that I think are more comfortable than, than Pleasure Waste cushions. I yeah. really do think so. That's, uh, I, can, I can agree with uh, Nick on that. Uh, one thing that I like about Coachman so much is that Nick Recchio, like when we did the Ocala thing, he spoke yep. to every Beyond owner that yep. was up there. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, he's there. He was, yeah. he was eating, he was eating <laughs> yeah. chicken wings with us around yeah. the fire. Yeah. He, he, he really was there cares. in yeah. the show. No other general manager of an entire division goes to these shows. He lives, we, eats, sleeps, and breathes this. Which does. Is awesome. I got a call from him at 8 o'clock the other night. Asked me yeah. a question. I'm like, dude, I'm hanging out with my kids, man. Go do something. You know? Yeah, but he's he, awesome. He's he an awesome dude. Shout out to him. Yes. yes. He cares okay. a lot about it. So do we want to, let's go around the yes, side let's and do it. go in. It's drizzling a little bit, but we can handle it. Every day about this yeah, time. You know. I would have liked to have done this at 1 p.m. today. Oh, really? One? I don't know why I, you had that idea. About so we have, <laughs> we have some outside connections here. You yes. know, one thing that I always say, and if you've seen mine and Hank's videos, mm -hmm. you're going to feel like I'm repeating myself. Mm -hmm. But I always hear from customers that, you know, as they get a little older in age, they don't want to have to lay down on the ground or yes. get on all fours to like come yes. down here and do we this. We were just saying that today when we were doing the 10,000 mile on hours. This is great. So this is waist high. You just stand here. For these connections, yeah. Hook up your water, hook great, uh, sorry, freshwater connection, city water, black tank flush, cable, everything is right here. So you go to your campsite, wherever you're camping, you mm -hmm. grab it, you hook it up, and it's all right there. So I yeah. like how high it is. Yes. It's there. 30 amp plug, same thing. You okay. don't have to get down on the ground and guess if you're plugged in. You don't have to do right. Everything is right there. So in this, the only thing that's down, so like down here, what is that? That's the propane that's and then propane the tube. That's your propane fill. Um, yeah, that's for your hose, the hose tube. And the hose, yes. Yeah, and then I'm guessing the, uh, so right here would be the sewer connection. Now, the sewer connection has to be lower because it is a gravity tank. Right. And so gravity from the toilet has to go to the tank, has to leave the RV. So you can't put a grab, oh, you cannot a do black it up tank high. up high, because how's it gonna get from the toilet up to the yeah. tank. Exactly. It has Why to you go want to be logical, Nick? Toilet down. Dude, don't stop with your logic. Yes. So, <laughs> pretty, you know, so that is one thing. That's true. That is low. You yeah, know, something you pretty cool that. here. It comes with a hose. Let me grab it real quick and show yeah. it to you. I think we've been doing this for a while. At this point, Nick can tell when I'm about to ask a question, I think. Okay. All so right. this here uh -huh. connects right in here. It's a quick connect. Yeah. And then you have water right here. So you yeah, can don't spray me. No, don't spray me, bro. It's in a perfect area for your black tank, for your black hose. You spray it right there. I like how that's blue now, by the way. Spray your feet. Yeah. Spray your surfboard. Right. Your dog. Your pans. You know, when me and my wife camp, she cooks and then comes over here and does the dishes here instead of trying to do it in the RV in that little sink. Yeah. Bring a pot over here. Bring it. You know, clean everything right here. It's just yeah. a great little area to do this. Yeah, that is. That's cool. And you just quick Very connect convenient. it off. There it is. And now you're on. Yeah. So nice. This is for more solar. Um, if you're going to be off the grid somewhere for a while and you want to carry extra solar with you, you can plug it in there and you can put on like another two or three hundred watts of solar 
out here somewhere. Out here somewhere yeah. to charge your batteries a little faster. That's cool. I was talking to Nick about this. Mm -hmm. You know, something I really like, when you plug this in here, mm -hmm. this thing here lights up so you know yeah, it tells that you're you. in. Yes. You know, you got it in right. A lot of other ones that we deal with, mm -hmm. people are calling us from the campground the first night they buy their mm -hmm. RV, and they're like, I think I'm in, but I got lithium, so I might be running off lithium, and then, oh, they and don't I'm know. like, take it out, blow on it, put it in, oh. they're like, I think I'm in, but here, whenever yeah, they call, light. I'm like, hey, there's a light on top, that light's on, yeah, you, you know you're connected, it. and yeah. they're like, oh, great, yeah, that's awesome. So, just little things, like thinking through how people are gonna use their RVs, thinking through, especially now, you know, the, the time that we're in right now with these RVs, over 50% of the people buying these are mm -hmm. first time RV owners. Yeah. Never owned an RV, and it's never a lot been in to one. Know. There's a lot. And we offer yeah. a full walkthrough. We had a customer here yesterday, spent two hours with Kyle mm -hmm. going through a walkthrough, stayed the night last night, came back this morning Ooh. with more questions. Nice. Like, hey, I didn't re don't remember this, I don't remember that. Yeah. So now we make it mandatory for them to film the walkthrough on their phone. Yeah. We say, grab your phone film everything they're doing so that way when you have questions you can go back and watch it the next day then so we put you up for two nights for this exact reason because most of our customers right now are first-time buyers put you up for two nights to where the second night you come back you have even more questions and every once in a while they need a little adjustment yeah but most of the time it's just questions trying to figure out how to use it and how to yeah. plug stuff in and all that absolutely and you can always call nick at any time you can yeah sure 100 <laughs> yes <laughs> uh all right, so so as we're going, black tank. Yeah. And obviously, you guys saw the dualies. We talked about that. I'll show that from down here. Yep, dual wheels. This is the dually. You know, something new that Ford's doing here is there's a keypad. Mm -hmm. So if you want to leave your keys in, you want to leave your engine running, press your little code, unlocks your door, yeah. and you're good to go. So I that's. I still haven't figured that out, believe it or not. Uh, there's a Ford dealership right across yeah. the street. No, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I'll do a video on it, and then here's your gas. Right? Yes. So this is regular gas, yep. it's not diesel. And there's not a lock on it because when you shut the door, it It'll stops lock. people from opening it. Yeah. Pretty neat. This is the the first chassis, so last year and this year. Now you can swivel both seats around. Mm -hmm. They move the brake handles, so that way both seats can swivel. There's also an emergency start. You know, sometimes when you do leave your coach on, you might just leave it in the accessory position and then oh. drain your battery down. Okay. But now you press that button, you go to start it, and it pulls off your, your house oh. batteries to start the engine. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. What can yours go? have that? Um, yes, I think mine has some kind of switch there that I have no idea what it is because I forgot. Did you get a walk walk yes, through? I did get a walkthrough. I forgot. I think your walkthrough's on YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. I have to look at my own video. Go back and watch that, would you? I have to look at it all the time, man. I'm just impressed. So this is this is a pre, this is like a 2019 chassis, mm. so no fog lights. Yeah. You see this here? Yeah. This is the newer chassis here with the fog lights, the parking sensors, the nice cool grill. So it's neat, you know, color coded bumper. Yeah. There's a lot of cool things, you know, they're they're always innovating, always, you know, yeah. finding some cool stuff. So we're gonna take a little break here and we're gonna be back after this. Nick, so there was a question from Gary Dunn. Okay. He wants to know with these with the new vans, the AC is supposed to be super quiet, which it is. It is very quiet on the inside. On the inside, but but he said that people say it's louder on the outside. So so yes, so so what we've experienced here is having the 110 AC versus the 12 volt AC. The 12 volt AC is louder from the outside. I don't know if it's because the way the shroud is or the way that it does transmit sound, but it is louder on the outside than a traditional 110 AC, but it is quieter on the inside. As Coachman advertised and everyone else, the 110 AC does make, it sounds like a jet engine almost yeah, on the outside. Yeah, let's see if we can hear it up here. And I don't know if you could, you guys could hear it. I have a decimal meter, but that doesn't really, I, there's so much other noise, yeah. there's so much other noise here, yeah. we can't really tell what it is, but I will say, Gary, that, that, yeah that we have experienced it being a little louder, yes. Yeah, so to me, I'll try to hold it up there and see if you guys can hear it. It's making, it's not really annoying or anything. It's, it's not. It's like a wine, like you said, like, like a car, like, like a like turbine. A turbine yeah, some kind wine. of engine, yeah. Yeah. It is a little bit I'll louder. hold the camera up there for you. Just hopefully that helps you out, but I wouldn't be super it bothered would, about it. It wouldn't be a decision maker yeah. or breaker for me. If I'm camping yeah. next to it, it's not that much louder to where it's gonna disrupt my neighbors or anything. Yeah, it doesn't sound like that. Let me see if we can, we'll be quiet here for a sec. So, 
yeah. I don't think you're going to be able to hear much no. of it. So I don't know if you can hear it. We're going to go inside right Gary, now. Gary, thanks for the questions. Dude. Yes. Uh, keep Hopefully that helps. All right, so let's go into the Li3, This the uh, 22D. So here we go. As I was saying, big door. This hey, is a big is doorway that here. People love about the Beyonds. They love the double handles. They love the big door. Mm -hmm. They love how easy it glides and it goes. Mm -hmm. It really is easy getting in and out of the coach. Yeah, I, I really do enjoy a big, nice big door here. So the 22D, what's the big thing on this so, layout? So they make three layouts. They make the D, which is the dinette, which is the one we're in now. Mm -hmm. They make the C, which is the power couch. And they make the RB, which is the one you have, and that's the rear bath. So that right. has the two beds up front with the bathroom in the back. Okay. So this is the D model. So it does have a dinette style twin beds here in the back. Right. So what I like about it is with those doors open, like we showed a second ago, you can put bikes in here, kayaks, mm -hmm. canoes, lumber. If you're rich enough to buy lumber right now, lumber is right. pretty <laughs> expensive. Yeah. You can put lumber in here. Uh, yeah. Whatever you like to put in here, you can just open those doors, slide it all the way in. You have the full 22 feet of distance in here to where you can put anything you want here. So yeah, that's great, pretty cool. yeah. great pass through storage. So if it's your everyday driver or whatever, for whatever reason, or your office, you can store a ton of stuff in here. Yeah. So, so lots of uh, something, cabinetry. Something you know, Coachman is absolutely great at is their cabinetry. I mean, this stuff here, this is some of the highest quality mm -hmm. cabinetry in any Class B RV that we've seen. Three big cabinets there. You have one trash can. I remember five years ago, people asked all the time, where do I put my trash? Where do I put it? And they were always finding some weird place. You know, Nick Recchio heard them and said, here you go. I'm gonna throw in the trash, trash can, can for you. Right. Yes. So, pretty neat stuff here. That's cool. This is the induction stove. So this is a 110 stove. When your inverter is on, this works. Okay. Um, you know, something, the Firefly, they have Firefly throughout the entire coach. and. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can show that there. That's hey, what we've got going on here. Firefly controls all of the lights separately. It shows you your battery, your, if your inverter's on. Your, we're getting negative one amps right now. Your lights. It's a little cloudy out there. So, so what they just started doing in 2022, this is the newest one, is they started including the Truma oh, on the cool. Firefly. Oh, that's good. So now, I mean, you probably have a separate Truma system. Yes. So yeah. Truma is on here now. So your heater, yeah. your water heater. How you want to do it? You can do gas. You can do mix. Oh, you can so do that electric. makes it easy because there is there is a Truma unit right here. Also, there is, but, yeah. but you but you, you use it all on here. That's cool. Battery disconnect very mm -hmm. easy. One button on, one button off. There's right. not three buttons you have to turn on. There's right. nothing. It's a one button system. Uh, Winnebago really touts that they're the one button system, which they are. You press a button, everything turns on. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. You get in here, you press a button, everything turns on. It's great. Yeah. Solar charge controller. This is where you turn your solar on or off. This is a secondary Truma thing. You know, you can mm -hmm. use it here, but you can go through some of the settings here. This mm -hmm. is your inverter, and these are some of the options here. So this one has the gray tank heater, it has the Wi-Fi, and obviously it has so an LP tank. Gray tank heater, so this can get in colder climates. Or this something. can, yeah. So Coachman okay. is rated with their Rockwell insulation, with their Cozy Wrap, with the way that they do all their, they have all their tanks in the coach, and the ones that are outside are wrapped and heated. They're rated to go down to five degrees Fahrenheit without freezing things. Okay. After five degrees, you gotta start winterizing glycol, the antifreeze. You gotta start taking yeah. serious precautions. But when down to, to five degrees. Yeah, negative 30, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be home. in that place. No, I'm gonna go kill a polar bear, put the thing <laughs> on me. All right, yeah. something, I, there is no chance. Yeah. I'm Why in are you 30. in a negative five yeah. degree place? But I get it. That's it's, it's still cool to have. You know, pretty yeah, neat. Shower. Pretty neat shower in here. Double you know, I love door. big double doors. You know, something they started doing here recently is a toilet paper cover. Yeah. So that way your toilet paper does not get wet. Yes. You do have a shower miser. It saves water. It is great. Oh, that's what that is. That is what that is there. Okay. You have you have your sink here to brush your teeth, wash your hands. You got your shower here. They give you a nice little mirror. They used to give you a soap dispenser. They stopped doing that and just give me a little area there yeah, for Yeah, you could just put your different soaps you up there put and your all that. Soaps there. And then I see there's some little nooks down there too, I guess. Yeah, you, for, you know, when you, you know, shave your legs and I don't yeah. really know what yeah. other people do. But yeah. Is that what you do? That is not no. what I do, Hank. Yeah. I'm a manly man. Yeah, I had to look. <laughs> I had to look. So yeah. So I'm nice, not going to judge. <laughs> nice big shower. You know, yeah. guys that are a little bigger like me fit in here well. I do fit better with the doors open. So 
so for me when I've showered in here, I just use the curtain, use the curtain here, plenty of space to do it. You know, I don't need the doors closed to shower. Some yeah. people shut the doors, I guess, but yeah. I'm but a bigger guy. It's nice with this uh, with this frosted glass, so the light's still coming in. That is true. If you do close it, you don't it, feel yeah, like you're in the back cave in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, so but I'm with neat. you. I like the idea that you can have it open. Have it open, give you yeah. some space. Okay. Very so, nice. Moving on from here, the same nice big 7.3 cubic foot fridge. You got your fridge up top. This is the one you're what you're gonna use the majority of the time. Mm -hmm. Then you have your, I call it the Ben and Jerry's holder down below. Right, the freezer. <laughs> Some people call it a freezer. Yeah, that's what other people do with it. No, but I most get people it. just call it a Ben and Jerry's holder. <laughs> yeah. It just holds Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, when you're in your van, you don't get the same calories. That, that is calories. true. That is true. <laughs> um, microwave. A lot of people ask about a convection microwave. And unfortunately, the depth is not there. Okay. So they, they do not offer a convection one. I had this conversation two weeks ago with Nick Recchio the convection microwave is not in the near future but it's a great microwave and some people bring one with them if they really want it but great microwave great everything yeah, here. i think that's based on size right like you said the depth space yeah the, the depth, depth. Is, there's, there's yeah. no size he would so, love to put one in yeah someone has to uh, invent one that is not as deep works a couple yeah. options so here you can hang close these shelves come right out very easy if not you have shelves here you can do a lot with there are little holes here so you can adjust on how you want the shelf yeah, so and that's nice good storage great storage yeah. there and as we said let's see hold on let's see oh yeah because I was supposed to be here at one so you've had this running <laughs> I have had it running. so it's like what is it 3 30 4 30 Eastern time usually I go home about 4 30 oh. but I'll stay here just for you but yeah. yes we have had this running since one and it feels great in here uh -huh. AC's been running this whole time engines been off yeah. and we're not I wanted to in. test that Nick that's why I came late. that that was great. You yeah. know, something I really like, Hank, is all these windows, man. I mean, this is just great, you know, to have these windows here. It's probably got the little latch on it. It does. There you go. All, all right. these windows here. Yeah, nice big, this is a big window. Big window, nice open, screen yeah. there. You know, you can even open the screen if you want to, yeah. you know, if you want to pass through something. Yeah. Make a margarita. If you need to escape. If you need to escape, there's a back door. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there but, we go. Yeah. So that's cool. Here, let me, I'll put the latch back up. Perfect. So, there you go. something pretty neat is this lagoon table. They just started doing this last year. So the lagoon table is great. It can go up and down, side to side. It can move out of the way. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the lagoon tables yes. and all, all the flexibility that it gives yeah. you. You can even move this bracket somewhere else. I mean, there's, there's so much cool stuff the lagoon table can do for you. Yeah. No. So, so here's the thing with these seats. I noticed they're seat belts. So, how many people could you actually sit back so, here? So each belt? one of these has two seat belts. Two so you don't get four people can, can. legally. I mean, legally, <laughs> yes. Is, it's is, not going to be a fun ride back here because you're all the way in the back. It's not. I've uh, done it before. Yeah. No. So have I. It, and it's great, you know. Yeah. But. You know, having the sumo springs back here really helps mm -hmm. with the bump while you're driving it. Having yes. the dual wheels really helps with the mm -hmm. bump. So if you do have more than two people that want to drive with you, obviously it only sleeps two. Yeah. But if you have more than two people that want to drive with you, you have that option here with the seat belts and with the space. So yeah. this is great for that. Yes. So, and then it looks like we've got, so uh, what's going on down here? That's an storage. escape hatch. So, oh, right. Uh, if you need to escape, just do it. Jump down. Yeah, sure, Nick. <laughs> like Keanu Reeves in Speed. Right. <laughs> you remember that? Yes, I do remember that. How cool is that movie? Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's good storage, man. Yeah. That's good storage in there. Pretty neat. Waterproof storage. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like a rubber floor. Yeah, you got some more storage under here. You do. As well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then so, I know under this unit itself, there's also there's you can storage from the back it. side yeah. under it. So you can slide cases with things in it underneath mm -hmm. if you like kind of yeah. you know whatever you want to do got it uh smart tv this is so this is a 24 inch lg smart tv uh netflix hulu mm -hmm. amazon prime whatever you want to do on here mm -hmm. there's also if i can get you a look at this there's another firefly right uh, there cool so this has everything the front one has so when you're sleeping at night you can monitor your batteries if you would like everything is right there yeah that's cool you know something pretty neat you can bluetooth your phone Mm -hmm. to this Firefly and you can monitor your batteries from your phone as well. Yeah. Um, there's also a Wi-Fi Ranger and that's right behind you. I yeah, believe. let's look at the let's okay. yeah, let's, let's stay look here. at the cabinets here. So in here what I like is all these cabinets have like this carpeted fuzz in them. Mm -hmm. 
So that way when things are in here and they are moving a little bit, this helps keep them still. It also doesn't make noise, so very nice there. Yeah. Nice big lighted cabinets, they're not dark yeah. as well. Yeah, one question I did see, and, uh, and uh, you know, people ask me about these, like, do they play DVDs or so do this, they play Blu-rays? This here is for uh, music. Okay, so this is music. for music in the rear of the coach. So okay. there's speakers here, okay. and here, and here, and here. Four speakers back here. Okay. And and this does play music. The TV will also play through these speakers. Okay, but it's not connected to those two big speakers in the door. These two big speakers in the door are for the are for the Ford for the uh, front. Yep. The front, front side. Okay. Let's open these cabinets up and show the folks. There nice we go. big cabinets. I am a fan of the cabinet tree inside of this piece. So check it out. So you got one, two, three, four. And there's the Wi-Fi range yeah. along with your lithium status gauge right there it tells yeah. you your soc that means your state of charge mm -hmm. so it tells you you are right now at 96 percent mm -hmm. um this here is the wi-fi ranger this is their upgraded one that they just started mm -hmm. putting in um mm -hmm. and that has a more powerful range on it it can also have a sim card installed in it it can have a jet pack just hooked to it and broadcast it through the whole rv so lots of options there yeah, if you've got if you if you've got uh like cellular Correct. Which is, probably, which is the best. That is the best. Yeah, yes. I prefer to use that. Okay, and so um, we do have a max fan. Yep, max air vent. So that way, this can, if you don't want to run your air conditioner when you're just hanging out and you're in North Carolina at mm. 60 degrees, turn this thing on. It gets fresh air going in and out of yeah. here. Yeah, open the windows and open stuff. Open the window. Nice okay. big windows. Open that. You get a lot of cross ventilation. Yeah, and so this is the fan that we got uh, that question about. I'm sorry, air conditioner. Yeah. So we got the question about and what is this air conditioner so this is a premier it's a 12 volt air conditioner mm -hmm. so what this does the freedom that this gives you is when you're driving down the road you can just turn this on because it runs on 12 volt just like mm -hmm. your lights or anything else mm -hmm. so you just turn it on you don't have to have your inverter on mm -hmm. you don't have and it uses 20 percent less lithium batteries or batteries than mm -hmm. the 110 air conditioner so this yeah. is a, a huge upgrade that people like yeah i would definitely recommend people uh go for that there's the uh, remote right there for the, that this is for the max fan that's for the max fan yep. yeah you the control AC the air conditioner from, from the, the fireflies yeah so from either there or here or from your phone so the bluetooth the, yeah. the bluetooth on your phone can also do it yeah so let's take a look up front here there is um so this there's just a space back here which is great because if you're six foot pocket. five we had a guy in here yesterday that was six foot seven and Ooh. I told him I think the only RV that he could sit in the driver's seat comfortably because this goes way here. Let me see how far back that goes. Was a beyond. Yes. <laughs> and these are uh, hand power. So there you go. Yep, they are hand power. They the can both back. swivel. Yeah. So that's all the way back there, and there's still room back here if you wanted to. Oh, it's great. Yeah. There's. Uh, I think so you just wanted to be on the camera. Storage up there. Yes, the looking here? good. I had my I had my hair cut yesterday. You did. Looks like yeah, I believe teeth cleaned today. Looking sexy. You know? I mean, look at this. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. So, oh yeah, the pockets here. That's a, they've had this for a little while, but I like these pockets. Oh, they have a new pocket. You want to see the new one? Yes. Uh oh, Check I told you out. about that. You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. No. Check that out. Yeah, that is cool. So I'm gonna go sit here and I'm gonna start this up because there's something I want to see. Um. There we go. I want to see. So all of this. Yeah, this this stuff is great, man. Um, I think it's pretty much the same kind of system that I have. It is. I don't think there's any new improvements over it. Do you know? Here, no, I'll hold that. Hold this. Okay. You can show them the navigation, the new sync yeah. system. Oh, so you can go to nav. Let's see if we just booting off here for you. Oh yeah. Nick doing the speed switch of the chair. I'm saying, what am I doing? This here? is like. I've never done this before. There we go. How's that? Yeah, thank you. No more BB. <laughs> All right, so you do have, uh, let's see, can we go to the navigation? For you. Hey, look at that. Yes. Navigation. Yes. You can talk to it. Yes, and um, you can do Apple CarPlay. I, I, I'm I not sure. Android CarPlay, it has Apple Android. CarPlay. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's chargers all over the place, little USB ports there. Yeah. USB ports all over the RV. I think there was five or six of them throughout the entire RV, so pretty yeah. neat. This, so there's some back here just to show you guys. I mean, this is what I have on mine, but I don't always show it. So I just want to show people 
um, everything that's uh, involved in it here. There's a cup holder right down here. So this cup is holder. this is the all-wheel drive model. Yeah. Uh, what's pretty neat about the all-wheel drive model in these mm -hmm. is there is no uh, button you have to press to do it. It just automatically kicks in when you need it. So, mm -hmm. so this being the all-wheel drive model, if it needed it, it would automatically kick it in. Yeah, which is cool. You don't have to do anything. There are modes. There are modes here that? that. Oh, I, there you go. So you press the button and you can see your see camera this in the back. Yeah. Pretty neat. Um, that's um, actually no. This is up front. That's that's a oh, that's, that's the a front camera. camera. Yeah, and then if you you could take that off or whatever. But let's There's say we a have button it on here as well. Yeah, so that gives you a wider angle. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then if you go into reverse, which I'm doing now, then that's behind. It's like beyonds everywhere you look around here. Yeah, man, there's a lot of, I don't know what's going on with all these beyonds. Maybe uh, this place might be a class B. Already. Might be a dealership, might be a dealership. I was going to say this, Nick, before, um, before we go outside and wrap this up. So that's why I have these vents open. One of the things I like about the Transit is this right here. <laughs> oh, wow. This AC is strong. <laughs> Oh, what you just do? I just, if you, so, so right here, if you turn the fan down, so like, yeah. let's say it's on one, if you go twice, it goes to full power. Oh, that's what need. Yeah, that thing, that's some strong AC, man. That is. Um, but I think it's because they have these as like cargo work vehicles, and they've designed it to go all the way in the back, so just to show you guys that. I love that. I know, that's kind of, that's, you yeah, some, some people might say that's like no big deal, but I love it. I use that all the time. That's good. I use this. Hey, you know, one of the one of the valuable things about watching your videos and what mm -hmm. you do is that you actually own one of these. Yeah. You came. That's how we met. You came up here yeah. and just bought one, and then we kind of became friends and started doing right. this. But you own one. You travel in it. Yeah. You you do this as a service to the Class B community. So yeah. it's great. People are coming in every day saying, "Man, I that's love awesome. <laughs> I love Hank's videos. I yeah. love what he does for the Class B community, for Coachman, for for every brand, every brand that you're helping out. So yeah. it's neat that you are a true Class B owner that really travels in it and does things in it, and you do videos like this for the yeah. community. So I am really glad I got into this community, and I am lucky that I met you guys, that this is all you guys do, yeah. and then you're really close, so we can, you know, I'm, there's, it's like a big opportunity to make these videos, and there's lots of people out there that help. There's uh, owners groups. There are. The Coachman you know, Owners Group on Facebook. On Facebook. Winnebago has a good owners group. Yep. Road Trek has some good ones. American yep. Coach has an up and coming one. That's been yep. great. So yep. Facebook is a great resource along Use with YouTube. those. Yeah. yeah. And even Instagram. Lola actually runs the Instagram for the Coachman, uh, for oh, Coachman cool. owners. So she puts photos and stuff like that on there. But the best place for anyone to go if they want to know about all of this, if you don't um, talk to Nick and the other guys at Sunshine State, because they're going to help you, you can talk. If, if you don't believe them for whatever reason, they're very knowledgeable, I think, on these things. Go to the Facebook owners group. Yes. 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 The Facebook Let owners group is great. We do a walkthrough and someone buys one, yeah. teaches them, but people tend to forget things. And so mm -hmm. I always see our customers on Facebook asking questions. Right. And, and I go to the technician, I say, did you cover this in the walkthrough? They're like, oh yeah, I promise I did. But it's just, you know, people tend to forget yeah. things. So Facebook is a great uh, yeah. community, a great safe place. To go on there it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of stuff to yeah. know let's go outside and wrap this up perfect let's do it yeah i love this big open door big open door oh, did right you here. show the new screen oh no oh get a little uh, envious here oh, that's, uh, that. that's yeah this is a nice screen that's nice this is a nice screen oh, two handles man. Yeah, one I know big one this there. Is, oh, sorry, one big one there. This is dedicated to Nick Smith. Right? It, is, it is. I get a, a penny every time someone that's buys one of these. <laughs> yeah, but look. Oh, that's great, man. This is a great screen. Oh man. Okay. All right. I love that. That's the holiday. You had to show me. Should that. we do a video just on the screen for you, Hank? <laughs> we'll do a video we just could. on the screen. We could. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Oh, by the way, guys, here's my Whoa. new. Here's my new car right here. Right, Nick. Yeah. Is this my new? This is, is new this is my new Mercedes right here it's behind nice me. Yeah, you know, I, I have to go with the matte colors, man. That's how I roll. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> let's let's wrap this up. Yeah. Poor poor Nick. He has a skateboard every day. I do. Yeah. I, I just heard. got a power scooter. Yeah, you got to come. That you yeah, you poor on. suffering. You know, yes. you got to come to work on a skateboard every day, bro. You're How holding, do you do it? You're holding me here till almost five. Right. So. <laughs> okay, all right. We're gonna wrap it up now. What's so? What's the big thing you want everyone to know? So, um, 2022 is just coming out. Um, this one is obviously 
unfortunately sold for everyone watching for the right. person that's been waiting for it since February or March. And this is about what? What's the? Uh, what are we looking at on this price wise? You, man, I just got called yesterday. Prices are going up again. You okay. know, I, there's right. prices are all the MSRPs in the 180, 190 range. Wow. You know, we're selling in the 150 ish range. Oh, so you it, still it, have it around 150? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, but uh, honestly, that's that's good considering that you're getting all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive, yeah. lithium, upgraded yeah. insulation, upgraded wheel, yeah. upgraded everything. Yeah. Every upgrade and if you want to, I know, so obviously, like I think, and we've talked about this, 4x4 is great if you're going off-road and doing things. Right. You can actually control the system a little bit. You can deep dive into it and make it rear wheel, you know, okay. drive if you want to. You can do all, it's got different modes. That's cool. You're the only one you know more about. Yeah. But so I think it's a bargain at that. I, yeah. I know everyone's not going to agree with that with everything going on, but prices are going to keep going up from here. I got a call from Winnebago yesterday, 7% increase. I'm getting calls yeah. from all of our manufacturers. Yeah. Prices are going up. And, yeah. uh, you know, I wish there was yeah. something I could do to stop. You're not absorbing, you're not like, you're not getting any benefit out of that, right? That's no, just the price I, because of what no, the van costs, the we materials. Have to pay that much more to yeah, buy these things. To buy it. Okay. All right. So listen, go to Sunshine State, Nick. You know, help him out. We're gonna start a fund for Nick, so car. he can upgrade his skateboard, you know, to something better. Something <laughs> but anyone at Sunshine State RV will help you guys yes. out. Yes. Um, I hope a, you guys. A, we have a great oh, team here. Tell the people about the deal that you have going on right so, now. If they want to see these. Yeah. So we still have the deal till August 15th. We have a 2021 Coach and Beyond 22C here on the lot for you to see, and we have a 2021 coachman nova rear bath model here and we're guaranteeing them here through august 15th so they are going to be here they're not sold you can come here test drive them hang out in it use it figure out you know if you're comfortable because so many people are ordering these things without ever seeing them mm -hmm. so we wanted to make sure people had an opportunity to come to florida and not have to drop what they're doing tomorrow and come but they have two months to do it mm -hmm. so from now till august 15th those two rvs will be here i give you my word and you can look at them drive them you know someone came in today they got a hotel they drove five hours they came today just yes. to spend an hour in a coach and beyond and yeah. someone came yesterday and someone came today every single day people are coming to see the, the beyond and the nova that we have yeah. here are you still uh if so if people fly in and they buy oh, one yeah. are you still like paying for their flight we'll pay for your flight okay. and for the Stranger Palooza listeners, we will buy you and your family tickets to Disney. Disney. So you're oh. here in Florida. I gotta go. We'll Is anyone taking you up on the Disney thing? Because I want to go. They have not yet. Oh they man, you guys. Yet, you can go with them. Please take someone take him up on the Disney trip so I could go. Yes. Free All Disney. right. It's like Oprah. Free Disney. <laughs> you get Disney. You get Disney. <laughs> Everyone gets it. Big thanks, man. Good yeah, man. seeing you again. Thanks for that. Um, make sure you guys check out Sunshine State RV. Of course, you know, hit the subscribe button, leave questions and stuff like that. Nick does check in on the video from time to time, yes. answer questions that anyone has. Awesome. Thanks, Nick. We're out of here. Peace.